And when you wear it, you're going to feel like a star, darling. Hello, beautiful friend. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to be showing you an absolutely gorgeous pattern called Doratus, which is a star inspired shawl design. Wonder was designed for you by Janica Carter. She was inspired by 30 Doratus, which is one of the largest star forming regions close to the Milky Way galaxy. It consists of thousands of massive stars and it's actually also referred to as the Tarantula Nebula, which is so cool. Doratus consists of primarily double crochets and chain spaces, so it is definitely suited to the new crocheter. So this design is a rectangle. You can wear it as a shawl, also, if you prefer, you could just make two of the sections or three and wear it more as a scarf. Or if you would like, you could double it or triple it and make a blanket. So it would be a great gift. So if you look closely, you'll see that the background is formed with double crochets and that makes up the night sky. And then the stars are formed with chain spaces. So it really looks like a smattering of sparkling, gorgeous stars in the night sky. And when you wear it, you're going to feel like a star, darling. Hello, gorgeous. To add to the sparkly wonder, we chose to make this in our sparkle DK weight yarn, which is very soft, beautiful wool blend yarn, which feels amazing next to your skin. These are four of our hand dyed colors that come in a kit called Charming Hues. It starts with this beautiful plum purple color into a darker smoky plum as a gorgeous teal and then finally a black. I think creating it in this four color gradient set really adds to the starry night effect because it sort of feels like twilight colors as the sun slips over the horizon and the night sky really starts to take center stage. If you would love more info about the pattern or the yarn, we are going to put the direct links in the description box below for you and you can also head to expressionfiberarts.com. And another thing before I head into today's tutorial for this pattern, I did want to mention that the pattern includes both written instructions and a chart. So those of you that love a chart, there you go. Today I'm going to show you four techniques that you will need to make this pattern. Technique number one is the foundation single crochet. The pattern gives this as an option for you, so I thought I would show you how to do that in case you want to go that route. To work a foundation single crochet, you start with a slip knot and place that on your hook. And then you're going to do a chain two. One and two. Now you're going to go ahead and insert your hook into the first chain that you worked and pull up a loop. Now do a yarn over and pull up another loop. Okay, now you're gonna yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. And that's how you get set up with a foundation single crochet. Now if you turn this to the side here, you're gonna see this little V on the bottom edge. What you're gonna to wanna to do is insert your hook into both loops of that V, like so. Then you're going to yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull it through just the first loop. So that's creating a little chain here. Now we're going to create a single crochet by yarn overing and pulling it through both loops on our hook. Let me show that to you again. Rotate to the side, see the little V. You're going to insert your hook into both loops of that V. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through one loop only, which is creating the chains down here and the single crochets over here. Yarn over and pull through both loops to create your single crochet. Then you're just going to continue repeating that, inserting your hook into both loops, pulling up a loop. Yarn over, pull through one loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops and continue repeating that however many times the pattern calls for. Technique number two is how to work a double crochet, so I'll show you how to do that. Double crochets are super easy. You start with a yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull your hook through that stitch, and you should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two of the loops. You've got two left. Yarn over, pull through two loops and that's a double crochet. Technique number three is how to work chain spaces. The beautiful star images are formed with simple chain spaces, which literally you just work some chains. 
And then when you've worked the number the pattern indicates, then you'll go back into double crochets. And that creates the gaps which form the image of the stars in your pattern. And finally, technique number four is how to work a beginning double crochet. I'm really excited to show this one to you. All right, beginning double crochets are awesome because you can see on this piece, on these first four rows, I did not use a beginning double crochet. I started with a chain three. And a lot of patterns will have you do that, and that's fine, but it does create a little bit of a gap, which you can see. These top two rows, I started with a beginning double crochet and you can see there is no gap. Here's how you do that. You're going to start by pulling up a loop that's about the height of a double crochet or slightly less. Then you're going to reach around behind your loop, grab the yarn, swing back around. You should have two loops on your hook then you're gonna yarn over and pull through both loops. And that gets your hook up into position. It almost looks like a little double crochet. Then when you start to go across your row, you're going to skip that very first stitch because this first beginning double crochet is on top of that one. You're gonna work into the second stitch and you'll continue along in your pattern. And you can see how it just creates a nice, nice smooth start to your row. So if you know how to work those four things, you are set to make this pattern. And I am absolutely bursting to see which colors you choose for yours. Thank you for joining me today. Remember tonight when the stars come out, take a little peek at them and know that you are a part of this amazing, beautiful universe and that you help to make it even better just by being your beautiful, sparkly, shining self. All right, thank you again. I will see you next time. Bye for now.